everybody, welcome to The Wild Dog Way. My name is Jessica, and today's video is going to be an Usborne Holiday Haul. Now, today's Holiday Haul is going to be all of the things that I purchased with the intent of gifting this holiday season to the kids in my life. So I'm actually going to start with the few things that I picked up for Emily, not that she needed anything else, but I wanna start with her stuff so that I can go ahead and get it put up out of sight. So the first thing that I grabbed her were these illustrate this book. There were three of them that I knew she would love. I think there may have been a fourth one. So it's these really fun books that have stickers. And in the very front, there is kind of like a message. It says, hey, we've got a problem inside this book. There's a story about a kid, maybe you, who has lots of dinosaurs for pets. Big ones, small ones, flying ones, but this book has no pictures. We need an illustrator to help us finish this book. And so you can see here that their job is to illustrate the book and there are some stickers inside as well that they can use and there were like I said three that I knew she would love so this is my prehistoric pet the unicorn party and one brave astronaut the other thing that I picked up for her were these escape rooms. Now we actually already had bought this one, but we ended up gifting it as a birthday gift. So I got it again because she was like a little sad that we didn't get to keep it. And these are escape room books. So the book itself comes with an envelope in the back full of the puzzles and you have to solve the puzzles in order to escape the museum for this one and in order to escape the video game for this one. Again, they just look like they would be really fun and I thought she would really like them. So those are the things that I picked up for her. Now, everything else I have is gifts for other people. Um, and you're going to see that I really, really like to theme gifts based off of the kid that I'm buying for his interest. So this first gift is for a unicorn lover and I got her the Fairy Unicorn series. So there are six books in the series. I went ahead and picked her up all of them because I hate it. Um, I mean, when it's my kid, obviously I can order them immediately, but I don't want them to have to wait on the next book. So I went ahead and got her all six of the Fairy, Corn, fairy Unicorn books. The My Secret World of Unicorns. This is kind of like a activity book and diary and craft book. There's a story, but there's also tons of things to do. So it's stories, activities, and secrets. Great if you have a unicorn lover. And then I got her the little, little sticker dolly dressing unicorn. So this is really cute. It's got all these little girls and they're unicorns and you get to use the stickers to dress them. And then the last thing I picked up for her was the unicorn embroidery set. So just a small unicorn embroidery. So I thought that that made the perfect unicorn lovers gift. Next up, we have a gift for a math lover who is in about, I think Emily's age, fourth grade, but could potentially be 10 instead of nine. Anyway, close to Emily's age. So the first thing I grabbed was the big book of math. This is Adventures in the World of Shapes and Numbers. And it's just one of those like total random like books of all kinds of stuff. You have everyday math, um, award winning math. I mean, it is just full of like all kinds of random fun math stuff, animal mathematics. So I just thought that would be really fun. And then I grabbed them a learning palette with all of the level three and four math palette mats. So that includes the algebra concepts, level three and four, the multiplication and division, fractions, money, and decimals, decimals and percents, geometry and measurement, um, level three and then geometry and measurement level four. And then this is level three addition and subtraction of four digit numbers and level four fractions. So basically all, like I said, all of the level three and four math mats 
um, and then the learning palette. I just thought that was kind of a fun hands-on thing, especially for a kid who's really interested in math because the learning palette is self-correcting. So even if maybe you as a parent or the parent that you're gifting the kid to isn't that great in math because it's self-correcting, they don't have to be. So it's not really putting a lot of extra work on them. Next up, I had a little girl in my life who loves arts and crafts. So I got her the Easy Origami Book. And then also went ahead and got her the original origami so that when she was ready to level up, she could. I got her the fortune tellers to fold because these were some of my favorite. Like I loved the fortune tellers when I was a kid and I thought these would be super fun. Um, they're not really super artsy, but they're fun and crafty. And then I went ahead and also got her all of the embroidery sets from Usborne. So the fairy, the mermaid, the flamingo, the unicorn, the llama, and one of my personal favorites, the owl. And then the last thing I grabbed for her, because you know those things won't last forever, is the complete book of art ideas. This way she would never run out of ideas and she would have plenty of things to do over the holiday break to keep her busy um, and still be crafting and creating. Next up we have a history lover. Like he is loves, loves, loves history and geography as a close second. So I got him the general knowledge trivia question book. This is really fun. We love this. The general knowledge word search and the general knowledge crosswords. Now these are really fun because they're activity books, but they're also like activity books in the sense of they teach while you're doing the things. So I thought those would just be fun because most of the other history books that I got him are more reading based and there just wasn't a lot of activities to go with them. And so I wanted to make sure that he wasn't left out. So I got him a hundred things to know about history. The Usborne history of science and pictures. The Usborne History of the World in pictures, in a hundred pictures. And then two of my personal favorite books, Here and There and Now and Then. So what I love about these so much, like seriously, I would give these to everybody, is that it is literally now and then. So like we have taking pictures where we went from painting to where we're getting a snapshot. So it shows you the different ways to do things and you know in history versus what we do now and then the same thing with here and there so it takes different geogra geographical places and compares them you know to like playing outside in all of the different places or going to school in different places so i just really think that's a cool thing for kids to see and then one that i know he's going to go crazy for the timelines of world history because if you're a history lover this is a must-have okay the last two things i have are not like the complete gifts they were part of the gifts if you guys tune into the amazon haul tomorrow you will see the rest of their gifts but i will tell you what i'm going to pair them with so i have a baker so i got her the Freddy's Amazing Bakery book sets. So there's four in the set. And then I'm also getting her um, a cooking set as well, which like I said, that came from Amazon. So that will be in tomorrow's holiday haul. And then I have a science lover. So I got them the 365 science activities. And then I'm also pairing with that um, a science kind of activity kit. So again, that one came from Amazon. So if you tune in tomorrow, you will see. It. So that's it. That is my Usborne holiday haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I would love it if you would tell me down in the comments, are you a themed gift giver too? I would love to know I'm not alone. But before I go, I wanted to remind you one last thing, and that is that Abby and I are hosting a giveaway. You have the chance to win a $250 Usborne gift card as well as a $250 Amazon gift card. So that is $500 that you could spend towards holiday gifts of your own. All you have to do is click the link in the description box and it'll give you all of the details on how you can enter to win.